Hello, Oakdale Church family. This is Mark and Jan Hellstrom. Thank you for your prayers and support to us over the last 35 years. Uh, we count it a privilege to uh, partner with you all these years. We are living in Tacoma, Washington. Our house is about um, half an hour away from two of our kids, about four hours from another one of our kids, and our last one lives way over in New Hampshire, so that's a ways away. Well, these days certainly are different with coronavirus. We don't use, aren't able to do our usual travel for three to four weeks overseas. Our last trip was to Uganda in February, and we came back uh, just as things were beginning to look a little bit different in restrictions in March and eventually lockdown where uh, we have to uh, only go to a few places like many of you are these days. Uh, we thank you that um, you have continued to pray for us and we are thankful that you know basically we are doing fine we haven't had any health issues. Um, during this time Jen and I have focused on trying to communicate to uh, supporters and partners that we work with, whether it's overseas, like in Uganda or Tanzania or India or the Philippines, uh, all these different places we have traveled to and done workshops in uh, church leadership training over the past uh, seven, eight years. Uh, recently, a couple years ago, I joined a group called Pastoral leadership development group and uh, we've been talking to each other how we can do more online training and so um, I'm working on seeing how we can put a lot of our teaching and training online and then of course uh, using things like Skype and WhatsApp to communicate uh, with these partners also during the meantime. So that's uh, kind of the some of the things I've been involved with. We're also trying to, you know, stay involved with our local church, just like you guys are, uh, through various uh, meetings. We're using Zoom a lot, it seems like, these days. Uh, trying to set up some things for um, perspectives course on missions. Uh, I recently took the training to become a... I guess an administrator and organizer to teach those courses. It's like a, a 16 week course that is uh, to encourage the local church and its people to become more aware of the needs and missions. So I'm part of a group that's going to be hosting that um, sometime in the next six months or so in the local area here. Uh, maybe Jan, you can talk a little bit about what you've been up to. Well, I'm thankful that I've been able to go with Mark, <clears throat> excuse me, on his trips or our trips overseas. I always enjoy teaching. I always enjoy getting to know the people that are, have come to listen, to contribute. And when there's women involved, it's a special treat to get to know them, If particularly if we have more than one occasion to be with them. And so that's, that's good. I, and I'm glad I can go. <clears throat> My throat. Sorry. Um, I have been also a part of ministries here in the church that we go to, and I have gotten to know some women from a Korean church, which is not far away from our home church, and they're, they've been a, a fun group to, to work with. They're very enthusiastic. They wanted me to help them with English in terms of sharing about Jesus to English speakers. And in that process, they, they realized that they don't fully understand some of the the doctrines of the faith because we've talked about those and so we go into depth about those in both in Korean and in English and so there's a lot of interchange back and forth and they've become good friends and I'm thankful for the opportunity. So I was just thinking as Jen was talking there's a couple of um, men that I've been mentoring in ministry for missions and travel with them sometimes. One is Cisse He's an Ethiopian-American. His wife is a, an American doctor. And so we've been working with partners in Ethiopia that he has introduced to me. And uh, we, at this point, you know, mainly have phone conversations about where things are at, what's going on with some of our partners in the field. Another uh, couple that I've also done some work with are Dan 
and Amanda Garapi. Uh, they live in Michigan, and uh, he has traveled with me to uh, do training, particularly in the area of community development education. And uh, they were just on their way to do some ministry in Greece among immigrants from North Africa and the Middle East when uh, this whole shutdown happened, so they st are staying actually with family in Michigan at the moment. So those are some of the um, relationships in mentoring things I do uh, with these fellows uh, over the last several years. Uh, just in closing, Jan, do you have anything else you want to add? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Well, once again, uh, thank you for your prayers, for your interests in following us. And uh, Lord willing, uh, I have schedules to be in um, Thailand to do some training in fish culture and fish pond uh, development with a group called ECHO in uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand. That's in June. And then we plan to do some more training with uh, pastoral couples in their, their uh, church planting efforts in India in August. And then hopefully in October, we plan to be back in Uganda and Ethiopia. Thank you for your prayers. Uh, says give our love to each one of you and that the Lord will strengthen you and encourage you in these days.